Today, we're in Marseille with the Marine Firefighters to see all they have at disposal to help people in distress in the sea. So I hope you're ready, because you know what? I know. I am. So let's go! When we think of firefighters, we think of fire, but also of the sea. That's right. Sailors go to sea, and so does the Marine Firefighter Department of Marseille. They often have to intervene and carry out rescues on the water, but also underwater. This is where it all starts, in the barracks, where the fire trucks are also located. There's no denying it, firemen have to be in top physical shape to be so efficient at their job. I think I'm going to have to do a bit more sport if I want to become a firefighter too one day. So there you have some diamonds and there you have a linguine. A linguine? A linguine. A linguine. <laughs> yeah, a linguine pasta. Very, very good. <laughs> linguine. <laughs> Can you hear that? Now, when firefighters get a call, they need to get ready quickly and head out to save the people in danger. Let's go! So, here we are in front of the Marine Fire Brigade motorboat. Ooh, it's all red, just like the tracks. This marine firefighter motorboat is 25 meters long. It has three hydro cannons and can carry up to 21 people. But not only that, it has a tender boat. It's a smaller boat that it's used on specific missions, technical missions and rescues. And we're gonna use it today because we're gonna rescue me. That's right, I'm gonna be in the sea and they're gonna come and save me. And you'll get to see all the equipment they use for those type of missions. So I hope you're ready, because you know what? I know, I am. So let's get on board. It's by practicing rescue techniques that firefighters are always ready to intervene. It's important to practice regularly so that you don't lose any time during the real rescue operation. Firefighters have a new workplace, the forest. Have you heard of global warming and drought? When the weather is very, very hot, dry giant fires can break out in the forest. <gasps> Trees can burn faster than houses and firefighters must work very, very hard to put them out. Fire can be quick or fire can be slow. Did you know that fire can burn four times quicker when it's going uphill? Firefighters pour lots of water on the fire to cool it down. Then they make sure the fire can't spread any further or start again by using lots of different tools. Rain will put the fire out, but until that happens, the firefighters must stay on guard because the soil can still be burning under the ground. You can help firefighters by calling an emergency number if you see a flame burning near trees. Now, when you're at sea, you should always, always have a life jacket on you. It's very important and it can save your life. Now, 
Here we are on the Marine Firefighter motorboat. And this boat is capable of putting out fires that are at sea and on the shore. Now, we're on the front deck. And as you can see, there's some very weird looking tubes here. Now, those tubes are hydro cannons. They can shoot up to 6,000 meters of water up to 80 meters away. And there's three of them, two on the front deck and one up there. Hello. Ooh, I want to play with them. Come, I'll show you around. <laughs> in the cockpit. That's right, just like a plane, you will steer a boat from the cockpit. And we're with Captain Roland. Hi, Captain. Hi, Chili. Now, you'd think that to maneuver a boat, you would use this magnificent wooden steering wheel, just like old pirate ships. But no, modern day boats have this little joystick right there that you can use it. Now, I won't play around with it because we're currently at sea and I'm not allowed to, so, you know. Oh, and just so you know, if you ever get on a boat, you never say left and right. That's when you're on land. No, when you're on a boat, you have starboard on your right and port on your left. Just so you know. Oh, and you see these big guys, those big joysticks, those are for maneuvering the water cannons, well, hydro cannons, which are just there. in the machine room and in this room there's two pumps two big pumps and these pumps can pump up to 10,000 liters of seawater a minute and they send it directly to the hydro cannons which are just above me on the deck Psst. here we are on the quarter deck what you see here is called a clarinet not for playing music though, it's for connecting the fire hoses. This clarinet is directly connected to the pumps in the hold of the boat. So, so we're going to simulate a rescue. To be precise, I'm going to be thrown in the water and they'll go and rescue me. Yay! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Whoa! Here I am in the water and it's cold. So cold. As you can see, I'm on my back, floating peacefully. You're going to take part in the rescue exercise, which consists of reaching a person in danger and pulling him or her out of the water. Hello? 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 Help me! I'm lost in the water! Please? Firefighters wear special shiny helmets. It helps you tell them apart from police or ambulance workers. Firefighters don't wear helmets to look nice, no, 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 no. 
The helmet is very important to keep firefighters safe. It protects them from things that could hurt them like heat or falling objects. Ooh! The helmet also has a special mask to help them breathe when there's smoke or chemicals in the air. Firefighters' helmets have changed a lot over time. They've been made from leather, metal and even plastic. The most famous firefighter helmet is called the F1 and it's really high-tech. Firefighters take good care of their helmets and never eat with it on or put them in strange places. If you see a dangerous situation, you can help by calling emergency services. Look around! We're in the Mediterranean. There are lots of boats, windsurfers and divers, for example. And when they have a problem, you have to act quickly. After spotting the person, the divers will jump out of the boat to secure the victim and bring him or her aboard the boat. It's the firefighters, sir. Uh, I was windsurfing and my board was taken away. Okay. You will security. We're very lucky to have such professionals to rescue us. The marine firefighters are great, true heroes. Well, that was a busy day, but it's not over yet. That's right, it's now time for the Kitty Quiz. So I hope you're ready for these three questions. First question. What comes out of a hydro cannon? A. Water or B. Confetti Timer Time's up! So, what's your answer? That's right! Water comes out of the hydro cannons! Yay! Congratulations! Water W A T E R Okay, now for the second question. What do you call the right hand side of a boat? Do you call it A. Starfish or B. Starboard? Timer! Time's up! So, what's your answer? That's right, the right hand side of a boat is called starboard. Congratulations! Starboard. S-T-A-R-B-O-A-R-D Starboard Ok, third question What should you always wear while on a boat? Or at sea, really? Do you A. Wear a fur jacket Or B. A life jacket Timer Time's up! So, what's your answer? That's right! While on a boat or at sea, you should always have a life jacket on you! Congratulations! Life jacket L I F E space J A C K E T Life jacket! Congratulations, you got all the right answers to the kitty quiz. That means it's time for the kitty dance. Let's go. Ready, set, grow. Ready, set, now. I'm kitty. Yeah, I'm kitty. I'm kitty.
set, grow, ready, set, grow. Oh, oh, oh.